Heads to 42nd Street. That's a classic musical, classic music, I get it, but my whole life would have been completely different if at age nine I'd walked past any dance studio anywhere in the world and heard this. there is something so magical, so spiritual about the outback of Australia. There's actually a, a word in, yeah, in the Kimberley region. The word is Leon, and Leon roughly means spirit, what we would say spirit, spirit of a place, of a time, of a people. And in that three months, actually, first, uh, for the first two months, my whole group was there. Then the job was done, they left, and I just stayed in a nearby community for another month. And that's where that Leon just got inside of me, into my bones, and I was just, all that nagging ambition I had at 19, all that worry about what I'd do when I was 
you know, older, even the heartbreak, it all just melted away, it disappeared, and I was happy, so content. I actually remember crying the whole way home when I had to go, and that, of course, I'm thrilled I came back, right? It wasn't at the time, but now I, so much has happened in my life that never would have happened if I had stayed, like being with you all here tonight in Philadelphia. It's unbelievable. I have literally lived a life I never ever dreamed possible, but still, I may never remind me on some level, I'm still probably always searching for that Leon or that peace that I felt every night as we slept under the stars in the outback. Honestly, you feel you can touch the stars that are that close. And it's difficult at times to tell if you're still awake or if you've already started to dream.
share the stage with these four great artists and musicians for the past eight years. We represent an organization called Nomad Two Worlds and it seems to us we live in an increasingly divided world. What we wanted to bring to Philadelphia tonight was the idea of reconciliation through culture and music. This amazing woman, Olive Knight, is an elder to the Aboriginal people. She is a mother to a nation. She sat directly opposite our Prime Minister in Parliament House when our country finally and formally apologised to the Aboriginal people for their mistreatment. Olive was speaking in her native Wamajari language and I'd love to ask her to translate for you what she was saying. The land is crying for its people and the people are crying for the land. Do not be silent. Speak up for her. A little, bit, a little bit at the end. I had a dream, and my dream has come true. <laughs> Paul Byrne, Cliff the Binary, Olive Knight, Nate Mumbrey, ladies and gentlemen. I think you might know this one. All oh, that shock, baby. As such teeth to dig, that he shows them pearly white. Just a jack knife, and so mark he made. And he keeps it tight out of sight. When that shark bites with his teeth, babe, scarlet pillows. Start to spread Plenty clouds of Hairs on my keeping So there's never, never, never A trace of bread On that side I woke up Some Sunday morning Lies a body Just losing weight And someone is sneaking 
Sometimes numbers actually help me. Oh, by the way, there's two songs to go before the end if you want to. I'll just go get a quick drink. So my... Are you going to stay? Thanks, man. And Bill. <laughs> he was not sure at the beginning. He goes, I think I'll take that off. I two songs before the end. Someone's birthday? Happy birthday. I have to... First of all, happy birthday, but I want to introduce you to Michelle, our dance captain. She's just the greatest, and she's the glue that holds this cast together. We lost, uh, we didn't lose, but one of our dancers had an injury, and uh, if you know anything about dance, going from an even number of eight to an odd number of seven is tricky, but only one person could put that together in no time flat. That's Michelle, I love you. You know what, while I'm doing this, and I haven't done this before, because I always say, the one and only Patrick Macriello, but I, and you guys really give him a massive round of applause every night, but on my way here, I was thinking, for 16 years, when I first performed on Broadway, the musical director was Patrick Macriello, and when I, any job that comes up for me, if I have to sing, the first thing I do is I ring Patrick, and if Patrick can't do it, I am out. That is how important you are to me. You are literally the heart and soul of the show. I love you. Thank you. So, numbers. Sometimes numbers help my mind expand, not contract. You know, like if I think about the fact that this universe came into being 13 billion years ago, right? Or that right now we are hurtling through space at 67,000 miles an hour, spinning at 1,000 miles an hour. Or that I'm just one of over 7 billion people on this planet. I mean, we're just specks in this infinite, magical, beautiful, complicated universe. But if there's one thing I've learned in my first 50 years on this planet, it's that you cannot measure your life with numbers. But if you're going to measure it, measure it with people. and. We just want to take this opportunity, I'm speaking on behalf of everyone involved with the show, in thanking each and every one of you for getting the babysitter, paying for the parking, paying for the ticket, for the dinner, for however you got here, it means the world to us. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.
Even those people that are almost in the car park right about now. Thank you. <laughs> row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, merrily, merrily.